genomics report are already recommended in certain tumor types and certain disease settings. And we envision that they are going to be used even more in the near future because of the increase in number of therapeutic options that are driven by predictive biomarkers, right? So we are now facing the transition of using this test in the research setting to the routine clinical practice setting. So we believe that it's important that we reach wide consensus in how this data should be reported back to clinicians because this may be the way of making the most of this data and helping clinicians make the best decision for their patients. And this is why from the ESMO Precision Medicine Working Group, we started this project to develop recommendations for the structure and content of genomic reports that are intended for clinical use when it comes to care of patients with cancer. ESMO has invited a diverse group of experts to participate in the preparation of the recommendation, including uh, different professional backgrounds involved in the framework of precision medicine from different perspectives, those who are involved in directly in patient care, oncologists, pathologists, but also those who are involved in the pursuit of the test or the delivery of the data from the wet lab or dry lab perspective, some of them coming from small academic laboratories, but some of them coming from uh, institutional laboratories or even super-institutional groups that uh, provide this test as service for a large number of institutions or whole healthcare systems, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and we also believe it's important to include various countries because we know from experience that the reporting is done differently in different countries. So if you can harmonize this also across countries, then uh, that would be even better that you get the same type of reports depend and not depending on how the, uh, on what country you're from. So as said, the main aim of this recommendations is to provide a structure on how to report the genomics results. As said, depending on the group where we're actually doing this for, it ranges from medical oncologists to uh, uh, lab specialists. So we need to find a way, or we need to provide recommendation in a way to, to report on a various different level of uh, details. So that the report is there understandable from an oncologist's point of view, but also still contains the details that are required for detailed discussions in molecular tumor boards. So one of the key recommendations of, of these, uh, this project is that there, uh, we need to provide a functional and clinical annotation of the findings we do in a genomic reporting. So now often the, 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 the report is, uh, is technical, you pro only provide the results, but we believe it's important to provide the meaning so that we know what we might can do with certain findings. In line with this, we are now, uh, instead of the, the simple uh, mutations, we're now also covering uh, more complex biomarkers, uh, tumor mutational burden, MSI, HRD, homologous recombination deficiency, and also these biomarkers need to be presented in a genomic reporting. Since they are more complex, they also require something more about which parameters and which algorithms are used. So also this needs to be stated or referred to. We believe that's important. And finally, we think that we need to clearly state which genes have been tested in the assays so that we know if we do not find anything, is that because we did not test for it or is that because there is no finding? Correct, and, and beyond the recommendations on the content, the document also provides recommendations on how to structure a report formally because we think that harmonizing the structure of reports will facilitate the interpretation from the clinicians. So the future prospects when we have such a recommendation and we have a better harmonization of the reporting um, will be to speed up the clinical adoption of genomic testing because we believe if, if it's easier for the, for the physicians and the medical oncologists to understand the report, then they also see the added value of performing these tests and that will uh, hopefully help the adoption of these uh, testing. In addition, if we provide a, a similar way of reporting the results, it will be easier to compare the findings between different labs and between different institutes. I hope that these recommendations are useful for groups or laboratories that are getting started in, in providing genomic results for their patients and want a guidance on how to structure the reports. But we think that also is important for those labs who are already doing it 
even for large number of patients. Uh, we believe that providing this harmonized report is going to help uh, to use this data in the best way possible. And we think it's important that from, from ESMO we are providing these recommendations of how we think this report should look like. And lastly, uh, I think that it's also important for physicians who are treating patients because reading this document and understanding how the report is presented would also help them read the reports and understand them better. And in the end, this is what is going to help them make the best decisions for their patients based on that data. Thank you.